Hi there! Want to know what happens when you have sown an incorrect amount of microgreen seeds? In this video we'll show you what happens when you do so with broccoli microgreens. The first tray is the low density tray. It contains 3.5 grams of seed. The second tray is the regular tray. It contains 22.5 grams of seed. The third and last tray is the high density tray. It contains as much as 50 grams of seed. All trays get the same treatment throughout the growing process. At day 4 the seeds in the high density tray look to run behind a little compared to the other two trays. They appear to start fighting over space. Day 7 shows that the microgreens in the high density tray have growing issues. Their growth is not evenly like the plants in the other two trays. At day 9 the microgreens in the low density tray start to have issues. They lack support from each other and start to fall over. Their growing medium also dries out way faster than in the other two trays. The high density tray still looks very irregular. After harvest, we get clear numbers on how the trays performed. The low density tray gave a yield of 17.2 grams. That is 4.91 grams of yield per gram of seed sown. The regular density tray gave a yield of 113.3 grams. That is 5.04 grams of yield per gram of seed sown. The high density tray gave a yield of 274.4 grams. That is 5.49 grams of yield per gram of seed sown. So the high density actually did best. However, they were very damp so you have to pay attention to that. Stay tuned, in the future we will repeat this experiment for other microgreen varieties.